Well, it's good to be with you, Sean, but it's a terrible time for our country. Uh, I don't think in all of the years our country has ever been so humiliated. I don't know, would you call it a military defeat or a psychological defeat? There's never been anything like what's happened here. Uh, you can go back to Jimmy Carter with the hostages. We all thought that was a great embarrassment and we were pulled out of that by Ronald Reagan. This is uh, many, many times worse and you're dealing with thousands and thousands of Americans and others that are stranded and very dangerously, really stranded in Afghanistan. So it's, uh, it's something that you, you can't even believe that a thing like this could. I looked at that big monster cargo plane yesterday with people grabbing the side and trying to get flown out of Afghanistan because of their fear, their incredible fear, and they're blowing off the plane from 2,000 feet up in the air. It's, uh, nobody's ever seen anything like that. That blows the helicopters in Vietnam away. That's not even a contest. This has been the most humiliating period of time I've ever seen. We had a great deal. We worked on it very hard. Mike Pompeo, a brilliant guy, and many others worked on it endlessly. Uh, meetings with the Taliban. Of course, you have to meet with the Taliban. They're the ones that you're negotiating with. I spoke on numerous occasions to the head of the Taliban, and we had a very strong conversation. I told him up front, I said, look, before we start, let me just tell you right now that if anything bad happens to Americans or anybody else, or if you ever come over to our land, we will hit you with a force that no country has ever been hit with before. It's a great thing that we're getting out, but nobody has ever handled a withdrawal worse than Joe Biden. This is the greatest embarrassment, I believe, in the history of our country.